Welcome to another Racer X Read Aloud, brought to you by Renthal. A fraction of a second, a few grams, a couple of millimeters. It all counts. Welcome to the winning world of Renthal. This story comes from the March 2021 issue of Racer X Magazine, and it's one I, Jason Wygant, wrote. It's titled, Recruitment Center. Enjoy. Recruitment Center. Bobby Regan just wants to win with his Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha team. And to do so, he's created one of the biggest squads this sport has ever seen. The jokes lasted all season. Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha would hire 49 riders for the 2021 season, give or take a few, and become the biggest team in the history of this sport. Now stacked with amateur talent, 250 pro contenders, and a new 450 factory team, Star is essentially entrusted with all of Yamaha's U.S. motocross and supercross racing efforts. Now the size of the team gets the focus, but it all flows from one mind and one heart. Bobby Regan is Star's founder and the team owner, and his passion for winning will never cease. Bobby's developed the system to make his dream a reality. He wants to win, and he's in charge of this team's future as the president of it all. All we want to do is win, and our passion hasn't changed one bit, says Regan over the phone from his car dealership, Star Chevrolet in Mississippi. I just love it. I just love the sport. I love the athletes. They're warriors, and I love what they do. Regan and his wife, Loretta, don't have children, so the team has become family for them. So consider that there, there are now nine pro kids in the family. Dylan Ferrandis, Aaron Plessinger, Malcolm Stewart, Justin Cooper, Colt Nichols, Jeremy Martin, Christian Craig, Jarrett Fry, and Nate Thrasher. And they're alongside amateur groms, Matt LeBlanc, Nick Romano, and Levi Kitchen. That's a dozen riders on this team. And like any proud father, if Bobby has to spend more time or more money to help his kids win, he will. The sponsors pay what they pay. So if we add more riders, we have to figure out a way to pay for it, he says. We're different. All the money we get goes into racing. We do not sell product. All we want to do is win. And I've never taken a dollar out of this thing. And since we're not paying me any money, and I pay my own travel expenses, and my wife's too, we get to save some money there. The team's getting a pretty good deal. Then Regan starts laughing in his trademark Mississippi drawl. And he's really the one laughing now. In his early days in the pro paddock, he was often laughed at for being the old Southern ball coach who didn't quite fit in with this sport's Southern California image. Regan has a football background, and he pretty much lives by the legendary Vince Lombardi's credo. Winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. But this is the sport more used to coddling its athletes than pushing them like football coaches do. And Bobby's hard-nosed ways rub some people the wrong way. Like Jeremy Martin, who left the squad after delivering two 250 Pro Motocross championships, because Martin said he preferred Geico Honda's family-friendly atmosphere. Oh, we were really unhappy when Jeremy left in 2016, says Regan. It was not our decision for him to leave. We learned so, so much from Jeremy, especially in our early days of four-stroke development. We watched him closely, and we learned a lot about how he rode the bike. And we've replicated many things we learned from Jeremy Martin, although I'm not going to give away all our secrets. A few years later... We're back together, and this team is thrilled. Just absolutely so happy to have Jeremy Martin back. Now, Martin might not have gelled with the atmosphere at Star in the past, but he can't deny the performance aspect. He explains it like this. Yeah, even though we did have a rough patch a few years ago, I have to look at this from a business perspective, says Martin. I'm like, dude, you have to win. Your ass is on the line. I have what I used to have. I know it's good and I know I can make something happen for my future. Jeremy Martin wasn't the only one who noticed the impressive results and wanted to incorporate some more of Star Racing into his future. Yamaha itself was well aware that Star had done wonders with the amateur and 250 program for the Blue Crew. Meanwhile, some of Yamaha's old racing bosses, like longtime racing head Keith McCarty, were transitioning out of the company. So looking long-term, this was the perfect time to move from a traditional factory 450 Yamaha operation and combine those efforts with Star Racing. On that topic, we consulted Mike Ulrich, Yamaha's off-road motorcycle senior communications specialist. He explained it like this. 
Since we had key members who were retiring and leaving after this year, it was a good time to leverage the knowledge we have and the knowledge Star has. Star did not take over Yamaha Racing. Yamaha is not getting out of racing. And Yamaha is still working shoulder to shoulder with the Star guys in-house to basically combine our resources. The undisputed global leader in manufacturing and design since 1969, Renthal has become notorious for a relentless obsession to detail and quality through their commitment to produce the finest products on the market today. And with a history full of innovations in engineering and legendary component reliability, Renthal is universally regarded as the most trusted brand in the pro paddock and the first choice to the world's premier athletes and race teams. Now, back to the story. Yamaha has tried this before, for different reasons, back in the dark days of the Great Recession more than a decade ago. Back then, Yamaha's factory team yielded to private operations like San Manuel l and Racing and JGRMX. Keith McCarty usually underlined that these were simply financial decisions caused by the recession and the factory team's lack of a title sponsor. Ulrich says this latest decision is not financial, it's based entirely on performance and results. Yamaha wants to win 450 championships. They hope Star can help achieve that. The Star Racing 450 operation is based in the Yamaha Race Shop in Cypress, California. Much has been made of Yamaha's corporate move to Georgia, but the racing department will remain California-based, with no plans to change that in the future. So Star has now split its staff, with Brad Hoffman and Jeremy Coker managing the Star 450 operation and working out of the Yamaha building in Cypress, California, while Will Hahn and Regan manage the 250 effort in Star's own old California shop, not too far from Cypress. But they will eventually change that too. But right now, the 450 effort and Yamaha integration is the big step for Star. Regan explains where this idea came to be. It actually started at the donations, says Regan. The team is on hand supporting Team USA's 250 rider, Justin Cooper, in the Netherlands in the fall of 2019. It came out of Yamaha Japan, and that was kind of the catalyst to push this along. They eventually asked if we would do this, and I said yes, we would love to run a 450 team. But initially, this was supposed to start in 2022. Then one day in June, Yamaha calls me and says, Actually, can you start by October 1st? And I just laughed and I said, I don't know if we can or not, but we'll sure try. The team started working on the bike immediately, moving into Yamaha's Cypress building. Can Star win titles with the YZ450F, where the Monster Energy Yamaha team could not? Perhaps Aaron Plessinger, who rode for Star as a 250 rider, and then moved to Yamaha's 450 team, and now will move back to Star for the new 450 effort, can explain it best. Are the bikes different or the same? I think it's pretty different, Plessinger says. I feel like Star, we were more of almost a family over there. And then I went to factory Yamaha, and it was pretty corporate. We tried everything we could with the bike, and it didn't pan out the way we thought it would. I'm already in love with the Star racing bike. We've only made minimum changes to it, and it's unreal. I think it's probably one of the best decisions that could have ever happened. The bike weighs way less, and the technology in there is completely different, Regan says. We've got some technical people who are just unbelievable, and we're following the same path for the 450. Aaron Plessinger is going to be a completely different rider. On the technical side, years ago, Regan found a relatively unknown tech named Brad Hoffman, who is now credited with a lot of the development for those super strong YZ250Fs. Brad went to school in Canada, and he did work for a team in Canada for a while. His dad is an engineer, and most people don't know this, he worked on small engines for his whole career, every aspect, from development to production. So Brad, in his youth, he'd be in there with his dad, tearing down lawnmowers, shedding weight to make lawnmowers more efficient. He's a special guy. Hoffman then added Jeremy Coker, who had worked for the Troy Lee design team, while Regan added Will Hahn, saying he could tell that Hahn was destined for management all the way back when he rode for the star team as a rider back in 2008. On the rider side for 2021, Plessinger was an easy fit because he remains a Yamaha contracted rider. Yamaha also provided the funds for Dylan Ferrandez's 450 salary, and he's an obvious pick after a dominant 250 Supercross and Motocross campaign in 2020 with Star Racing and the YZ250F. 
but Regan wanted to take on a third 450 rider so the team could get more data and more experience in that class. And that means Malcolm Stewart finally gets the factory 450 ride he's been looking for. I've known the Stewart family for a long, long time, and Big James and I have always been real close friends, Regan says. I think Malcolm has a world of potential, and whether it costs us more money or not to add a third rider, the objective is not to make money. Our objective is to win. There are even bigger plans for the future. Star Racing recently purchased the goat farm from the Carmichael family in Florida. It hopes to not just use that property as a training facility, as most do with Florida Land, but as an actual race shop with engine dynos and more. Don't worry, the goats are still there, jokes Regan, referring to Ricky Carmichael and his mom Jeannie. We'll move there within the next year. We've got some construction to do. But they wanted to work with us and we wanted to work with them. We're thrilled. A lot of industry insiders will talk about the high cost and red tape of working in California, but Regan is one of the first to actually stake claim to land in the East and truly move out, although Star will continue to have operations inside Yamaha's facility in California as well. Out in California, Star has a proven training operation going with Gareth Swanepoel, who, like Han, once rode for the team. Regan identified Swanee's work ethic and fitness he once won a moto for the team at the grueling Southwick National early on, and he kept them in mind as a trainer. Eventually, Swanee retired from racing, and he's helped develop a lot of Star's talent, including the big championship runs for Plessinger and Cooper Webb. What's odd is, after recruiting so much talent, Regan doesn't really realize that he's recruited so much talent. I guess that is what's happened through the years. I've got certain guys that maybe I was able to recognize their talents and put it to work, Regan says but I've never really thought about that before. Look, Bobby Regan is just like a college football coach, where recruitment is as big a part of the game as coaching the game. And like an old ball coach, everything is based on creating a winning culture. And everything Bobby Regan does and says is all based around one word. Win, win, win. They don't plan to change that anytime soon. This organization is different, says Regan, After I can't do this, I still want this to be a team in the future. So I've set it up where some of the guys own some of the team. And the team will go on even when I'm not in the position where I can do anything else but be an advisor. But we're not going anywhere. In fact, the only place Star Racing is going right now is up.